In this video, I will be showing you how to set up CraftOS PC Remote. CraftOS PC Remote is a service that allows you to connect to ComputerCraft computers from inside Visual Studio Code, giving access to the terminal and files outside of the game. Even though it has CraftOS PC in the name, it works with all versions of ComputerCraft, not just the emulator. To get started, you'll need to install the CraftOS PC extension in VS Code. If you don't have VS Code already, you can get it from code.visualstudio.com. Open the Extensions tab in the sidebar and search for CraftOS PC. You'll want to install this extension here. I already have it installed, so it doesn't show the Install button for me, but you'll want to click that and let it install. Once it's installed, a new icon with the CraftOS PC logo will appear in the tab bar. We want to click on this and hit Connect to Remote. Oh, it looks like the connection failed. This is a common error for first-time users and is unfortunately unavoidable for the time being because of a bug in VS Code. To fix this, we'll want to press Control shift p and type in Preferences Open Settings JSON, just like this. And then press enter and it'll open the settings file. You'll want to scroll down to the bottom of the file. My file is kind of big. And find the second to last bracket or second to last line just before this closing brace. And if there isn't a comma already here, you want to add a comma there and add a new line and type in http.systemcertificates. and then colon false. From there, we can save the file and close and reopen VS Code completely. Now that the bug's fixed, we can try it again. We can open the sidebar again and click on connect to remote. It shows a small empty computer craft window and says that the command has been copied to the clipboard. When pasted into a computer, this command will connect the computer to VS Code. We'll do that now by opening the computer in Minecraft and pasting in the command. Now if we look back in the VS Code window, you can see that the window shows up the same as in-game and in VS Code. In addition, you can see that the monitor that we have attached on the right side here also shows up in VS Code. So now we can go in back into the terminal here and we can type in commands like monitor write yahtzee which is a yahtzee clone I made and we can show it on the monitor and it also shows up on the monitor in game. So we can just do quick round. And it looks like we got full house. So that's enough for now. You get the point. Now that we've connected to the computer, we can open the computer's files inside VS Code. To do this, hover open the little computer entry in the sidebar here and click on the small monitor with a circle on it. This will warn us that due to a technical limitation in VS Code, the connection has to be reset. This is OK. We can do the same thing as before to reopen it. Hit Yes, and it'll add the folder to the file explorer and also disconnect the computer. If you look at the explorer, you won't see any files yet, but it does show that the computer folder was added. We'll follow the same process again. Go to the sidebar, Click connect to remote and paste the command in. We can go into the explorer and see that all the files have appeared. We can go into any file here and take a look at the contents and it'll load all the contents immediately. Editing these files and saving them will make them immediately appear on the computer. To demonstrate this, we'll create a new file called hello.txt and we'll simply type in hello world. 
Now save it, and we'll go back into Minecraft and do edit hello.txt. You can see that the contents of the file are now here. And we'll also demonstrate that we can edit files from inside ComputerCraft. So we'll replace world with VS Code, save, and exit. Now, if we reopen the file, you can see it says hello VS Code, just like we entered in ComputerCraft. It's recommended that you save the workspace to make it so you don't have to open the connection twice. It'll start out with a computer folder already in VS Code, so you only have to connect once. To do this, go to File, Save Workspace As, and you can give it any sort of name. So we'll name it Computer Craft. So now you can close out VS Code. Now we can see the file in our home directory. Just double clicking that, we'll open the computer again. And then connect to remote once again. Now our files have appeared. That's about it for how to use CraftOS PC Remote. If you have any questions or problems, feel free to contact me on the CraftOS PC Discord server at www.craftos-pc.cc/discord. I hope you enjoy using it. Bye for now.